Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Happy 2021. As you guys know, 2021 was definitely a very crazy year and everyone is kind of just over everything and really glad that we're into the new year. Unfortunately, everything is not gonna just get better with the blink of an eye or the switch of a day. Um, it's gonna take some time for everything to get better, but I think people are just starting off with more of a positive mindset and more motivated. So I thought I would start off this year by doing a Target slash dollar store haul. Um, I have been taking everything Christmas down besides our two Christmas trees. Everything is completely down and I've been switching into more springtime already um, just because once Christmas hits down, I don't want to keep like wintry stuff up. I want to go back to like the kind of basic, more neutral stuff that I have. And I actually did some reorganizing and switching some things around in the house. I will show you guys. Our living room area is very long and it is a very weird shape, which I will show you guys in a little bit. Like this video if you guys want to see like a full apartment tour. I have never done one on the channel before. Like I said, the living room is such an awkward space. It doesn't really make sense and I'm just not really like thrilled with how the back end of the living room looks. So I guess that's why I haven't done a room or an apartment tour. But other than that, everything in this apartment is perfect. I love it so much and I love how far it has came because before I wasn't living here, um, it was literally just a bachelor pad. There was nothing in here. It was a, there was a basketball hoop, a ping pong table, an arcade game, and a popcorn machine and that was it. No couch, no nothing, just a bed. Um, so now when I came along, I started kind of making it more of a home and a comfy living space for everyone to just come hang out and chill, a nice workspace, a nice living space. So like I said, I just want to transition everything out of Christmas and I moved a couple things around. So I went to the dollar store and Target and I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm just going to start off with Target, but I got this in the like $1 to $5 section at Target. That's where I got majority of my stuff from Target. I got this pillow that just says make yourself at home. It has this. And then it also has this um, side as well, which I think is really cute. I'm just gonna have to like move around the fluff in here because it is a little uneven, but that obviously is just like an easy fix. So I might just keep it on this side because I really like the stripes. Um, it doesn't really matter which side you use, you can switch it. Um, but I thought for $5, I hate spending money on pillows because pillows are so dang expensive. So when I find a cute pillow like this for $5, I take it and I only need it for a chair about this size as well. So this is perfect size for a chair and I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna do with it when I'm done. And then I just got the most random stuff. So I got this um, hanging wall calendar that I think I'm just gonna put up on the side of our fridge. Every morning we can write down like what we have to do that day and we can visually see what we have to do by writing down like doctor's appointments or any sort of appointments or uploading schedules, videos, filming, stuff like that. It's gonna be really good to keep us organized. And this was only a dollar and it's super cute and it's a good size too. So I got that. The next thing in the same same section was three dollars and I just got this fuzzy headband just for my skincare in the morning or night um, I don't want to use this for makeup just because it's cream I have a really ugly lime green one that I'm, I'll use for makeup but just for skincare in general I think this is super nice and super cute to keep your hair back for three dollars why not the next thing I got is this two-piece piece this two-piece dish towel set, that was a tongue twister. Um, I got this in um, the Valentine's Day section of the one to five dollar section. This was five dollars for two of these, so 250 dollars each. Um, I got it because I love, love this um, striped pattern with the little fringes on the bottom. This is good for all year round. And then I also got the one with the hearts on the back because it adds a little bit of Valentine's Day without it being, you know, pink and too girly and over the top. I got this in the um, back of the store where they have Valentine's Day stuff. Um, I actually got this for Tristan for Valentine's Day. I'm going to make him like a little gift back basket or whatnot, whatever you want to call it for Valentine's Day. But I thought this was the cutest thing ever. 
don't know why Sprite because he's upstairs. But it's these two avocados and they're so cute and they just go together because like the pit and then they're hugging right here and it's connected right here and then they have a little heart. And me and Tristan are obsessed with avocados. Like we eat avocados all the time. That is like our favorite food. So I thought this was so cute. So I'm gonna add this into his gift, but this was $5 as well. So I had to get that for him. Then I just got these double A batteries because I was all out and I have a lot of, not a lot, I have two string lights in the bedroom that require these. Um, and then I will show you what I got from the dollar store that requires these batteries as well that I'm super excited to try. And I'll try it on camera to see if it actually works. So that's why I got these. I got this super, super cute picture frame that says be our guest. I needed to get um, a picture frame for our guest bathroom um, over the toilet because I had a picture above it and then I switched out one for um, Christmas and then I ended up using the one that was above the toilet somewhere else. So now I needed one for the toilet. So I just got this one that says be our guest and it is super, super cute. And it was only $5 in that front section as well. And our bathroom is like a neutral um, bathroom and there is hints of green in our kitchen and our guest bathroom as well. So I really like this. This is exactly the color scheme that we have. Same little dollar area. I got this cute little wreath that is gonna go on the front of our apartment door. And I will show you guys me putting everything up that I'm gonna be decorating. Um, I'm not just gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna show you guys also where I'm putting everything. And this is just perfect size. I don't want anything too big or too obnoxious. I just want a little something. And this was only $3. And the other stuff that I was looking at was like $10, $15. And it was honestly like the same thing as this. So I just went for this one because it was the cheapest, but still what I was looking for. I got this cute little plant that I'm actually gonna put on a windowsill um, next to this pillow um, that's gonna be going on a chair that I will show you guys in a little bit. And then I just got these containers. Um, they were two for a dollar, these acrylic containers. I'm just gonna use these for um, some drawers to organize. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use these in like my makeup or skincare or a junk drawer that I have. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use this for yet, but it was two for a dollar. And I absolutely love these acrylic containers and it's really hard to find these for this cheap. I think that's it with Target. Now I'm just gonna move on to the dollar store. The first thing that I got was this jar, which I have a bunch of these in our kitchen as well. Um, I just use these for like peanuts and stuff like that and almonds and nuts and one of them was broken when I bought it so I had to return it and I returned it a while ago but when I returned it or I was going to exchange it they were all out and I honestly haven't seen them since and I just saw them and I needed one more. I just got these um, clips for chips and pretzels and stuff like that to keep things fresh because I don't have any clips and I don't know why I haven't bought them. And you get a three pack for a dollar, so I just thought, why not? Then I just got more of these hair clips because I have one, but some of these like teeth things broke off um, and I have a lot of hair, so that's why I got the bigger ones instead of like the three clippy ones. Um, so I got these two for a dollar. And then I also got this um, silicone facial mask applicator because I don't have a face mask applicator. Oh my God, this feels so weird. <gasps> I don't want to like touch it on my face right now because it's not clean, but like this is perfect size too. I'm really glad I got this. This is what I needed the batteries for. So I found, I don't even know if this is gonna work or what, but it was a dollar and I saw this and I was like, I need to try this. It's literally, a facial cleansing brush, but it's a battery operated one. It's like the ones that you guys see for like a hundred dollars and I've never tried one before and I've never got myself to buy one, but I saw it at the dollar store and I was like, okay, hold on a minute. Well, let's try this out. So that is why I got the batteries. Oh my God, it works. It's probably not the best, but like for a dollar. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh my God, it tickles. It feels so good. Some of the hairs are coming out. So I'm just gonna like pick some of these out. This feels so good on your face. Wow. Frida, I'm, this is probably like the best thing I found at the dollar, at the dollar store, I'm not even gonna lie. Next thing from the dollar store, I always see this nautical rope everywhere and people just make the cutest DIYs ever. And I don't really know what I'm gonna make out of this. I might make one of those placemats that everyone makes. I probably should have bought more, but I just didn't know what I was gonna make out of it. And I wanted to see if there was anything I could spice up at the house already. I just bought one of these. Be careful because I was looking at the dollar store and they have different sizes. So they have like a 6.4 foot one and an 11.1 foot one all for a dollar. So you might as well get the 11 foot one because you get more for your money. So be careful because there are a bunch of different sizes. And even if you don't need this much, like it's better to be safe than sorry. And you're still paying the same price for more. So be careful. And I almost made the mistake of getting the smaller one instead of the bigger one. So be very, very careful with the labeling. Always read. This thing at the dollar store too, it is this cute mirror. It is perfect size. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet or what I'm gonna do with it, but it is black and I think it is adorable, but I think I might paint it gold. Um, gold or white, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna paint it yet, but I think I'm gonna paint it gold and just put it um, somewhere as like an accent mirror. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but it was a dollar and it's perfect size. And mirrors are expensive. Like this thing at Target will go for like $15, $20. And then I got this cute little sign and it's just laundry room and it's super, super cute. I think I'm just gonna put this up in my laundry room. Cute little accent, just says laundry room. A uh, mystical place where socks vanish and dirty underwear materializes out of thin air. And I just think this is super, super cute. And it matches the theme of my washer and dryer, which I will show you guys that as well. For Valentine's Day, I know I showed you guys that small wreath that I'm gonna put out in front of the door, but that's gonna be more for spring. I got this one from Dollar Store. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. I was gonna get one that looks kind of like this at Target. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this ribbon off and use twine instead because I have twine that looks just like this. And I think that this makes it look cheaper than what it is. So I'm gonna cut that off and re-tie this into a completely different thing. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and flip some of these. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with them. All right, so that was pretty much it for the dollar store and Target haul and kind of decor, DIY video, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I had so much fun doing them. I love getting cheap little things like that that I can remake into my own and incorporate into little pieces of my house. Um, the yarn thing was absolutely amazing. I originally wanted it to be just like a flat circle, um, but it started to cave in and make a bowl. So um, maybe I wanna get two more of those and end up making bowls out of them or placemats, or I just have to work with the fabric a little bit more to really get the feel for it and see how I'm like supposed to use it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like this video if you wanna see an apartment tour and comment below if you wanna see whatever videos you want. Bye guys.